Hey everyone, it's Kevin and I hope you guys have been well. I just came back from a fun trip up in the mountains to celebrate a friend's birthday and do some snowboarding. I usually go this time of year to see the snow and enjoy the change in scenery. Anyway, this inspired a new scene I created in Blender 3D with Grease Pencil. In this video, I'll walk through my process of recreating a 2D screen printed look, which is something I've been wanting to experiment with. This piece is inspired by the Matterhorn Bobsleds attraction in Disneyland, California. It's a high speed roller coaster that takes riders through ice caverns, waterfalls, and past menacing yetis. The attraction is pretty iconic to the park as it's housed within a 1 100th scale replica of the actual Matterhorn Mountain in the Alps. Recently, I've been on a Disney theme park kick and I thought it would be fun to try recreating the original poster by Paul Hartley, but in 3D. Attraction posters were a main stable to Disney parks. They gave a glimpse of what guests could experience and were displayed right at the entrance of the park. And at this time, they had a distinct travel poster style. They have an illustrated look characterized with bright, bold, yet limited colors and strong contrast to emphasize lights and shadows. The primary purpose of these posters was to be easily recognized and attention grabbing while evoking a sense of adventure. Now, these posters were generally screen printed, which is a process where ink is forced through a mass stencil or mesh onto a surface, one color at a time. I'm not sure if this printing method influenced the style or if the style was simply a derivative of minimalism, but it allowed for reproducing designs in various mediums and in different sizes. I really love the screen printed look as its simplistic approach allows the viewer to focus more on the emotion and imagine the experience it conveys. My goal in recreating the original poster in 3D was to add depth and add to the immersion. Again, I'm using Blender, which is great for creating that 2D and 3D aesthetic. The way this scene is set up is I have the base elements modeled like the mountain, rock formations, and vehicle. Then they're shaded with a simple tune shader that emphasizes the light and dark areas. And lastly, it's supplemented with grease pencil details for the more illustrated elements. If you're not familiar with Grease Pencil, it's an object within Blender that allows you to draw 2D directly in 3D space. It's extremely useful and versatile when combined with other 3D elements. If you want to learn more about it, you can check out my Grease Pencil course I released with CG Boost, and I'll have more info at the end of the video. Using the poster as reference, I began by modeling the track path in the center here. I used a subdivided mesh plane and estimated the distance from the camera to the Matterhorn. Next, I moved on to modeling the mountain using another subdivided plane. This process was pretty loose as I just tried to match the reference. After that, I started shading the meshes. The shading I used was a simple tune shader setup, which is just a principled or diffuse BSDF to a shader to RGB node, and lastly, a color ramp node. If you'd like to learn more about it, you can check out my video about simple stylized shader setups and I'll leave a link below. As the shader is affected by light, I tried to match the color coverage by adjusting the geometry and bringing in lights. This was a little tricky because I had to manipulate some of the geometry in a weird way, but it worked out. I then brought in more rock formation meshes and tried to build out the scene beyond the vertical orientation it was originally in. As this style uses a limited color palette and relies heavily on contrasting values, I used at most six colors for the scene. Next, I created the rails and modeled and shaded the bobsleds. After completing the base elements, I moved on to working with Grease Pencil. So here, I have ice trails coming down these rock formations, details on the actual mountain, and snow drifts. For those, I use the official free Grease Pencil brush pack, which can be installed via the Grease Pencil Tools add-on. To do that, you can go up to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and select Grease Pencil Tools. 
Then, with your grease pencil object selected, you can go into Draw Mode and click the Active Tool and Workspace Settings tab. Then, click the Layer Specials drop-down, and then you'll have the extra grease pencil brushes appended to the default ones. I also used Grease Pencil to create illustrated details such as the Excited Writers, and the Matterhorn and Fantasyland fonts. I used fill materials to get really precise with it. Lastly, I animated some of the elements, added falling snow, and added additional effects to the scene. And that's it for this scene. Overall, this was a fun and challenging exercise in creating 2D and 3D artwork. I love experimenting with different styles and I was happy with the outcome. Also, if you're interested in learning more about Grease Pencil, you can check out my course I released with CG Boost called Master Grease Pencil in Blender. In the course, I cover everything you need to know to get started and by the end, you'll have created this medieval fantasy village scene. The first part of the course is designed as an introduction to the tool with future lessons focusing on a 2D and 3D workflow. You can find the course on the CG Boost website and I'll leave a link below. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks again and see you guys next time. Thank you.